Hi guys, we're here with the Small Land Dollhouse. We're going to do an assembly of it, take you along with us on the process. This is the front of the box. Shows you this is the new version. Doesn't have the wall between the kitchen and the dining room like the old version did. You might have seen on our blog. We've done that. We covered that dollhouse before. Let me show you the back. In the back, you'll see the house. That's exactly what comes in the box. The furniture does not come in. The lights don't come in the box. So let's take a look at the assembly process of this. I'm going to get the components out of the box and then, you know, we'll start from there. Okay, so I hope that you can see the inside of the box. This is just as I opened it. There's the frame of the dollhouse and here we have the stairs. You'll see the electrical components there and this is an outlet in the house. Those are outlets. I'll just put this to the side. And this to the side. And then here we have our roof, one piece of the roof, another piece of the roof. Our Lundby book, and this is this tells about this is called Lundby Living, and this is a new version this year. Usually, the last couple of years I've had the same version, but this I can tell is new because it has the new wallpaper. And this kitchen set, I did find out they are sending it to me, it's just going to be delayed a little bit because it's not available in the United States yet, so that's why. We're doing um, the older sets right now. But they are going to send that and I will update you on that. The Christmas sets, you know, they talk about the different components. It's a nice little catalog of all the pieces. So, nice collector book to put that aside. The instruction manual, Small Land, the Swedish Dollhouse, and inside. It gives us a blueprint for assembly. Put that aside right now. And see what else we have here. This is the upstairs floor. This is almost like a felt flocking. That's the carpet for the bedroom. A little bit of fuzz on there to get that off. Seems to be vacuumed. And then this is like a faux wood, whitewashed wood. Okay. And then in here we have the door, doors, and screws. I think that's a molding for the roof or something. Okay, and in here we have everything is protected very nicely. Let's put that off here. An interior wall. The other side it has a different wallpaper. Okay. And then this, I believe, is the interior wall of the bathroom. And the exterior wall of the dining room. Living room, great room, whatever they're calling it now. These should be the side walls because I see the exterior of the house. So, yeah, these are the exterior wall. See how the doors open like that? Actually, it goes like this. This is an up, this is the off the sunken little nook or whatever you want to call it. There's French doors onto a balcony and this is the bathroom wall, interior wall. Okay, and we have another here. 
We have another interior exterior wall. It goes like this because this is for the bedroom. The windows, like you can see, they all let's see, open nicely. And that is the exterior. Yes, this is going to be under the kitchen and that great room. This will be in the bathroom. Here is the back of the house. And the back of the house is going to show us where we have to connect this power cord so that all the lights turn on. It's remote control ready. You see these pins here. Standard lighting, remote control lighting. There's a little switch. Okay, and um, there we go with that. That's the back wall. And then on the other side of that are going to be all of the back interior walls for the house. that down. And then I think we just have the balcony that is off of that sunken nook where the French doors lead out to and then this is the top railing of the stairs in the interior. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to come back, get cleaned up and start the assembly. So we'll be back in just a second here.